Jason Whitlock has sparked up a controversy saying that the Indiana Fever needs a male black coach, says Christy Sides is way in over her head with Caitlin Clark and said that Kelsey Mitchell needs to go as well. But before we get off on today's podcast, tell a friend to tell a friend. Well, Jason Whitlock has said some interesting words about Indiana Fever's head coach, Christy Sides, and believes that Indiana Fever need to fire Christy Sides and hire a male black coach to coach Caitlin Clark. Now, he has some interesting takes on his show, Fearless with Jason Whitlock. Now, we all know everybody's been coming at Christy Sides for the way she's coaching and some of the games that she has been out coached where she has lost the game down the stretch. And a lot of people believe that Christy Sides is holding Caitlin Clark back, you know, from her potential, from unlocking, unlocking a beast. Now, we know what Caitlin Clark brings to the table. She's a phenomenal basketball player, probably one of the greatest women basketball player that will ever lace them up. You have to give her her respect on that. You have to give her her kudos. But a lot of people have been coming at Christy Sides lately in the media. Now, Jason Whitlock, we know what Jason Whitlock can do. Jason Whitlock can cause a lot of controversy with some of his takes. Now, you know, we covered Jason Whitlock all season long last year when Colorado was playing and the things that he said about Deion Sanders and things like that. And a lot of people was coming at Jason Whitlock saying he was hating on Deion Sanders. But in this particular instance, I kind of agree with what Jason Whitlock had to say about letting Christy Sides walk and bringing in a, a male coach to coach Caitlin Clark. Now, Jason Whitlock had an interesting take on what he said when he was talking about what Indiana Fever need to do to turn this season around. Let's take a listen to what Jason Whitlock said. They got to get Kelsey Mitchell off the team, to be honest with you. She's playing a completely different game than everybody else on the court for the Indiana Fever. She can't adjust. She, any, the coach is, is in over her head as, as well. A white woman trying to coach Caitlin Clark in the WNBA with a predominantly black woman uh, roster, that, that, that's, a match made in hell. <laughs> I think they got to have a black male coach. They got to find a black, I, Mark Jackson, someone like that to coach that team. He can go in there and tell them black, hey, look, this is the way we're playing. We got Caitlin Clark here. This is what we got to do. Call me racist all you want. Call me sexist, whatever. But we're going to call me an Uncle Tom. I don't care. We're going to play through Caitlin Clark. We're going to play a way that makes sense for her. <laughs> now, you heard what Jason Whitlock had to say. Now, I tend to agree with, you know, some of the things that Jason Whitlock is saying. Uh, basically, op he opened up and said that, you know, a white female head coach predominantly coaching an uh, all-black roster um, with Caitlin Clark on there. Now, we all know what Caitlin Clark brings to the table. She's the standout player for the Indiana Fever. Now, what Jason Whitlock is saying is that, you know, also he said about Kelsey Mitchell. Kelsey Mitchell is – really doing some things that she don't need to do. And basically from the words that I hear Jason Whitlock saying is almost like Kelsey Mitchell is trying to take the shine away from Caitlin Clark. Now you build the team around Caitlin Clark. That's what Jason Whitlock is saying. So he's saying that you bring in a black, you know, male head coach, you know, put all the egos aside and let them know that, Hey, this is how, this is the style of ball we're going to play. This is the brand of basketball that we're going to play. We're going to, you know, run everything through Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is the superstar. Caitlin Clark is must-see TV. We're going to have to generate, you know, the offense through Caitlin Clark. That's basically what he's saying. And he said that he thinks a black, you know, a male head coach can do that. Now, I covered a story about, you know, 
Christy Sides being on the hot seat, saying that she potentially might lose her job and the rumor mill was talking and the name that Jason Whitlock, you know, brought up was Mark Jackson. Well, I covered that. I said the rumor is out there that, you know, Christy Sides can potentially be replaced by Mark Jackson. Now, that's a good coaching candidate for the Indiana Fever, you know, to unlock the potential in what Caitlin Clark brings to the table. Just like Caitlin Clark said when she accepted her award about Lisa Bluter being the best leader that she's ever had. A lot of people saying that was a speech when she, you know, was in college. No, Caitlin Clark made it abundantly clear that now she's in the WNBA and that still stands true that Lisa Bluter is the best leader that she's been around and she knew how to get all the potential out of the girls for the team to rise to the occasion. Now, a lot of people have questioned Christy Sides in her coaching ability, but Christy Sides' resume is really not that impressive. You know, she coached at the University of Louisiana Monroe, but she was the assistant coach and her MO was a defensive specialist. But then yesterday, she made a roster change by letting Celeste Taylor go, one of their defensive gurus that she never gave a chance on the court to perform. And she is a lockdown defender, and she let her go. So at the University of Louisiana Monroe, where she was the assistant coach, she was the defensive specialist, but she did not play Celeste Teller and lets her go. Now, Christy Sides' coaching career, you know, after, you know, she went to um, University of Louisiana Monroe, you know she was in the WNBA. She was assistant coach with the Fever alongside fellow native Pokey Chapman. Also, she was on the sidelines with the Chicago Sky. So her resume was basically an assistant coach, which got promoted to the head coach for the Indiana Fever the same year that, you know, Caitlin Clark was coming out to be the number one pick in the WNBA. And she gets that job with the Indiana Fever. Now she's coaching one of the high prolific um, women's basketball players in history. And it seems like she's dropping the ball. And a lot of people are coming at Christy side saying she is well in over her head, like Jason Whitlock stated. Now, I don't agree with Jason Whitlock on a lot of things, but I think I agree with Jason Whitlock in the point that he's coming from. Not like he said, not you can call him a bigot. You can call him racist. You can call him Uncle Tom, but I don't think it's from that standpoint. I just think, you know, he's a fan of Caitlin Clark and he wants Caitlin Clark to do well. And he thinks that bringing another coach in would help Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever out. I know they're a young ball club, but we got to look at Christy Sides' resume. Is she really a deserving coach to coach Caitlin Clark? A lot of people, you know, beg to differ, say, you know, give her a chance, you know, give her some time. They don't need to fire her. But what we do, we call it how we see it. And when, you know, when the iron's hot, got to strike it when the iron's hot, man. So Jason Whitlock made some valid points, man, about bringing in a male coach to, you know, coach that team. And basically, he's saying that Kelsey Mitchell is doing a little bit more than what she's supposed to do. But she's say, but he's saying that Christy Sides is way in over her head. Um, so you guys, tell me what y'all think about what Jason Whitlock had to say about Christy Sides. Do you think that would be a, a smart move for the Indiana Fever to look at a male head coach coming in? I know the names that a lot of people would like to see if Christy Sides is let go is Lisa Bluter because that was her college coach and she knew how to unlock the beast in Caitlin Clark and get, you know, Iowa to perform. They went to two back straight um, back to back national championships. Yeah. They came up short against the LSU Tigers and um, South Carolina Gamecocks. But, you know, Lisa Bluter is a, is, is a great candidate, but do y'all agree with what Whitlock said about bringing Mark Jackson in only time would tell, but a lot of people are really coming at Christie sides and, you know, it's unfortunate, man. It's the nature of the beast. This is the business that we live in. Um, you know, that's what the media does. They critique everything that you do. Everything's in the limelight. And when you got somebody like Caitlin Clark, the spotlight is on you. So if you're doing bad and they think you're the reason, they're going to call you out. So we got to see what unfolds. But, 
you know, Jason Whitlock, you know, he made a valid point. He dropped a bombshell. Um, you guys let me know what y'all think. And this is going to wrap up another episode of the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. I'm your host and the man behind the mic, KSAP. We're going to catch you on the next one. And remember, on your way out the door, when you put your shoes on, do me a favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share on all major platforms.